the Octonauts, and the White Tip Shark. What's uh, what's this one? That's a whale shark. Whale shark. What's that? The octonauts and the white tip shark. There's our cast: the octonauts, who's who, Professor Inkling, Quasi, Peso, Barnacles, Tweak, Shellington, Dashy, Turnip. Captain Barnacles had an exciting new mission for the Octonauts. We need to find out what kind of sharks visit the reef, he announced. Shellington grinned. He couldn't wait to study a shark up close. Not too close, gulped Peso. Sharks can be dangerous. Quasi grinned. And that's why I can't wait to get going and clean the gups, Barnacles asked. Our gups are covered in gunk and they don't work well when they're dirty. Aye aye, groaned Quasi. But I'd rather be swimming with the sharks. Barnacles, Peso, and Shillington climbed aboard the guppe. The guppe chugged through the ocean. A stripy fish peeped out of the shadows. Look, there's a pilot fish, said Shillington. No sharks, though. Let's move further down the reef, decided Captain Barnacles. No one noticed the pilot fish dart up and nibble at the bottom of the guppe. Peso and Shellington watched and waited. They didn't seem to see any sharks around. Try the front window, muttered the captain. Jumping jellyfish! A great big white-tipped shark was swimming straight towards the cup A. The white-tipped shark opened its massive mouth. Look at those teeth, remarked Shellington. Those teeth could use a toothbrush. Suddenly, the shark grabbed the cup A's light and thrashed its tail. What is he trying to do, says Peso. Shellington frowned. He's trying to take a bite of the gup. The shark could hurt itself, and he could hurt us, cried the captain. Hold on, Barnacles. Try to get the gup a free of the shark. The white-tipped shark chased the octonauts. The little pilot fish followed too. Put, put, put. The gup a sputtered to a stop. Some gunk must have got in the propeller, said the captain. Finally, he got the sub started again, and they pulled away just in time. Back on the octopod, Professor Inkling and Quasi were playing tennis. This is easier for you, says Quasi, hitting the ball. The professor laughed. Even with eight tentacles and four bats, Quasi was impossible to beat. Time was ticking away, and Quasi was supposed to be cleaning the gups, but he was having too much fun. Just one more game, says Quasi. Tweak and Turnip grab their paddles and says, You're on! The table tennis match was getting exciting. The next point wins! Quasi grinned. He glanced out the window. Was that the guppe having a grand adventure chasing after a white-tipped shark? The Octonauts peered through the glass. They're not chasing the shark. The shark is chasing them, says Dashy. Not only was the shark chasing the guppe, it was starting to catch up. We can't shake him. Peso, sound the Octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Tweak opened the octo hatch. As soon as the gulp A was in, she closed the door again, shutting the shark outside. The crew were relieved to be back in the launch bay. That'll teach me to take a gunky gup out, says the captain. How's the cleaning going, Quasi? Well, I haven't started, I mean, finished yet, Captain, admitted the cat. Quasi hurried back to work. Quasi jumped in the launch bay pool. One gup already looked shiny and new. Well, the sea says, who cleaned the gup the pilot fish swam up. I did, Quasi blinked. You like cleaning? I live for it, beamed the fish. Eat and clean and clean and eat. You know how it is. Ah, says Quasi. Dinner is served. The pilot fish got the gups ship shape in no time. I'm amazed how fast you've been able to do this, Quasi, says the captain. Well, I had a little help, said Quasi, introducing his new cleaning assistant. I'm still hungry, said the pilot fish. Usually I clean sharks. Barnacle remembers the shark is on the reef and his teeth were very dirty. 
the Octonauts decided to help the pilot fish find the white tip shark. Open the octa hatch, says Barnacles. Quasi wasn't missing this mission. It definitely beat cleaning the gups. The pilot fish led the guppy back out to the reef. Peso says, Shark! The shark looked angry. It bit on the guppy's light and then snapped up the portals. Time to eat and clean, says the pilot fish. Open wide, buddy. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea, says Peso. But instead of eating the pilot fish, the shark let him clean his teeth. That's better, the white tip shark grinned. You're just the little fellow I need. Thanks, Octonauts, shouted the pilot fish, swimming away with his new friend. I'm going to miss him, says Quasi. Now I have to clean the gups all by myself next time. The friends chuckled all the way back to the octopod. Captain's Log Calling all Octonauts, our mission to the reef was the most dangerous yet, but we learned something unusual. Who would have thought that a tiny pilot fish would make friends with such a fierce white tip shark? Fact vile, the white tip shark and the pilot fish. The pilot fish and the white tip shark have a special friendship. The pilot fish follows the shark wherever it goes, eating and cleaning the gum from its teeth. They live in open water together. The white tip shark eats fish and squid. The pilot fish eats the shark's leftovers. And that was the Octonauts and the White Tip 